we are asked to simplify the given square roots. First we have the square root of 49x raised to the power of 18. A square root will simplify if the radicand, or the expression under the square root, contains perfect square factors. And notice in this case, 49 is a perfect square because it's equal to seven times seven, and x to the 18th is also a perfect square because x to the 18th is equal to x to the 9th times x to the 9th. Remember when multiplying, and the bases are the same, we add the exponents. So to show some work here, let's write this as the square root of seven times seven for 49, and let's write x to the 18th as x to the 9th times x to the 9th. Whenever we have two equal factors, we know we have a perfect square. Seven times seven is a perfect square, and x to the 9th times x to the 9th, which is really x to the 18th, is a perfect square as well. Simplifying, the square root of seven times seven, or seven squared, simplifies to one factor of seven, and the square root of x to the ninth times x to the ninth simplifies to one factor of x to the ninth. And we are told to assume all variables are positive. Normally when simplifying a square root, if we have an odd exponent on a variable, we do need an absolute value, but in this case we are told the variables are positive, and therefore no absolute value is needed. This is the simplified expression. Next we have negative three times the square root of 121 x raised to the power of 34. And again, notice here 121 is a perfect square because it's equal to 11 times 11. And x raised to the power of 34 is also a perfect square because it's equal to x to the 17th times x to the 17th. Whenever the exponent on a variable is even, it is a perfect square. So to show some work, let's write this as negative three times the square root of 11 times 11 times x to the 17th times x to the 17th. Notice how if we take the exponent of 34 and divide by two, we do get the exponent of 17. And now 11 times 11 is a perfect square, and so is x to the 17th times itself. Simplifying, we have negative three times the square root of 11 times 11 simplifies to one factor of 11, and the square root of x to the 17th times x to the 17th simplifies to one factor of x to the 17th, giving us a simplified expression of negative 33x raised to the power of 17. And again, while this exponent is odd, we do not need an absolute value because we are told the variables are positive and therefore this is our simplified expression. I hope you found this helpful.